It seems that Rude Cosmetics are continuing on with their sweet based collaborations because now we have something new, which is a Chupa Chups collection. That's right, the lollipops. In true Rude Cosmetics fashion, it is very affordable, but there are quite a few items to talk about. There's the Chupa Chups Splash Lolly Liner in five shades for $7.25 each. And as an FYI, they are split pan. So it is possible to get quite a few color combinations. Then we have the Chupa Chups Popcorn Party Ombre Blush, which comes in four different shades for $9.50 each. And they look super cute. The colors are all on trend and it's not breaking the bank. I'm definitely tempted. Then there's the Chupa Chups Sugar Sticks Neon Liner, which comes in seven different shades for $7.25 each. Unfortunately, we don't have swatches, but we have Shocking Strawberry, Wavy Watermelon, Lemon Lime, Grappling Grape, Bubblegum Pop, Cherry Punch, and Blue Raspberry. There's Candy Combo Face Duos for $10 each. Strawberry Yogurt is a blush and a highlight, and so is Creamy Strawberry. Choco Vanilla is a highlight and a bronzer as is Refreshing Cola, which is just a deeper shade. There's Long Lasting Hydro Tints in four shades for $9 each, Sweet and Sour, Cherry Pop, Cranberry Crush, and Chocolate Spice. There's actually two palettes. This first one is the Fruit Basket palette for $22. And it's kind of strange that it's called Fruit Basket, but it's very neutral leaning. But that makes sense because their last collection with Mentos was very, very rainbow-esque. And it is very peachy summer springtime. The other palette that they have is the Cream Soda palette, again $22. And this is much more cool toned and it almost looks like there's a black in there. But it isn't, it's actually just a very dark brown based upon the swatches. There's a makeup travel bag for $26.50. And there's four styles of lashes for $9 each. And they're all looking pretty dramatic. I'd love to know what you guys think of Rude Cosmetics lashes. Like has anyone tried them? Because I am intrigued. I will say though, there doesn't look to be massive difference across the styles. And there are two different display sets. There's display set B for $462 and then display set A for $696, each of which kind of contains different amounts and parts of the collection. I have to say it's actually quite good. Like it's fairly priced. There's some interesting color stories in there. Am I into the neutral palettes? No, not really, but I think it was smart of them to do that and then have the pops of color come in other things like the liners, etc. And they're all very affordable. Let me know what you guys think because I have this over in my Instagram stories right now, but for me, I kind of think it's pretty good.